Hey! How's it going guys? Welcome to a reaction video. Uh, I don't I don't do these that often, but the ones that I have done uh, You guys have liked a lot. So I figured hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna do another one So the only things I've ever reacted to on this channel are like videos of me like montages stuff like that I've never done this what I'm about to do So a lot of you guys already know this but uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater the video game got me into skateboarding that and the combination of uh, Skating with my brother that's it. Those are like the two things that, that got me into skating and actually the very first Tony Hawk is the, is the game uh, That completely like changed it for me me, that, that like made me want to start skateboarding but in Tony Hawk 3 uh, Rodney Mullen's like uh, part I guess you would call it a part like where you could go to the pro skaters and watch watch their footage uh, when I saw Rodney Mullen's stuff that changed everything for me so in a way uh, this is like my favorite part I have a lot of favorite skate parts but this one uh, was probably the most meaningful to me because I was new to skateboarding and I was very new to seeing like creative skateboarding so the fact that someone was just making up tricks was unbelievable to me. So um, the, yeah, the Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 part that he had uh, was awesome and I'm going to react to it almost 20 years later. I think it's 19 years later, 20? Almost 20 years later, I don't know. So yeah, I found it on YouTube. I'm gonna play it and uh, we're gonna dissect it. It's gonna be great. Also, I can't have the music from uh, the part for copyright reasons. So no audio with this, sorry. Oh my gosh, this is so nostalgic already. I don't have much to say about myself, except I love skateboarding. Heck yeah, Rodney. Skateboarding loves you. I remember everything about this. So like a one-handed handstand, figure flip to Primo, Casper stall, flip Casper stall thing. I really should have Mike Osterman here. He knows the names of every freestyle trick. The cool thing about Rodney though, is that he like blended freestyle with street skateboarding. That, that's what was so like monumental about it. But yeah, that first trick makes no sense. Nothing makes sense that he does. I don't know what that is. Twirly bird pre uh, Primo. And then he got into Primo uh, in a weird way. Like shove it, flipped it. I can actually do that. I learned how to do that trick. The, uh, not the full trick that you just did, but you guys have probably seen me do it. The Primo or rail stand, sorry, freestylers. Rail stand, varial double flip back to rail stand. I learned how to do that from watching this video. I seriously watched it like a hundred times. And then he varial double flips out. I think that was a double flip. Uh, the picnic table stuff is amazing. Back 5-0, uh, like finger varial heel. And then a finger tray flip. And he's still going handstand. Finger flip. Yep. This is just some fancy footwork. Bunch of shevets, bunch of twirls. He's good. I don't think this has a name. I think this is just like footwork. Although he does do a rap impossible right here. Watch. Yep, I remember. 20 years later, I remember. Was that a truck stand? Oh my gosh, it's so good. Hang on. I'm gonna butcher the names of like all these, by the way. But what the heck? Hang on. Pretty sure he was in Switch Casper and then, yep. He was in Switch Casper and then flung it over to regular Casper. That's incredible. Uh, fakey, oh, was that like a 540 Casper? Pretty sure that was like a 540 Casper stall and then like tray flipped out or something. Yeah, I don't even know what the heck he just did. Casper slide, tray flip out or whatever. Casper slides seem like they make sense if you know how to do a Casper stall. If you can Casper stall, try to do a Casper slide. Literally the hardest thing you could ever do on a skateboard, I'm pretty sure. June Sato does them. I don't understand it. If you can do a Casper slide, you won. You just won. And on top of that, tray flip out makes no sense. Three flip dark slide. That's incredible. And then he does it switch. Was that switch? I, that was switch. He did it both ways. Kickflip underflip, the legit way, I think. So some people do kickflip underflip where it does like a half flip and then you just flip it back over. Also, I'm using my phone as a skateboard. Every other skateboarder does this too, I think. No, he did a complete kickflip and then hit it under and it did a complete heel flip. Okay. Or that was Nolly. And then that was regular. Or, yeah, okay. Nose manual, Nolly th three shove manual to nose manual, Nolly flip out. Oh my gosh. I love the manual stuff. Manual, kickflip, nose manual, Nolly flip. Dude. You guys know me, I love manuals. Like I'm, I, that's basically all I do when I skate is manual tricks. And this is why, this is like why I wanted to do it is because his stinking picnic table combinations. It really is incredible. And it's also funny that I haven't watched this in years and I still remember like what he's doing before he does it. Insane, absolutely insane. Front crook, Roddy Mullen front crooked a handrail. Oh my gosh, that would be the hardest thing ever. Like on a skinny ledge, ollie up, then gap to Casper slide. What the heck, kickflip nose manual, nolly front foot, nolly impossible, nolly impossible out. I don't know what that is and I try, that's backflip. That made me want to learn how to backflip, no joke. I actually tried to learn this, not this trick. I would never learn that. I, I tried to learn that trick and I, I don't really get it. 
Maybe I should go back and try it though. It's been a long time. Half cap crook on a handrail. Back 5-0, finger varial heel to manual. Front crook to nose grind. Oh my gosh, he's so good. Dude, I can't even process. Hang on. It's nose manual, nolly heel to dark slide. Okay. He's so good. He's so, I, I love that he does a trick. And then the next trick is him mirror, mirroring it. Mirroring? Okay. So right here he does a uh, front 5-0. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So right here he does a 5-0 shove it to nose grind. Back shove it. And this time he does back 5-0 front shove to nose grind. Incredible. He did that again. He, th he, he, he switched. He mirrored it. Crooked grind, nolly varial heel. Johnny Geiger just did that actually. And then he did it switch. Nose manual, nolly flip, nose manual. With a gap. With a gap. Dude, what the heck? This still is so good. Like no one, no one's doing this. I mean, honestly, Johnny Geiger is doing is doing some of this. I mean, he has a whole series about like learning Roddy Mullen tricks, but it, it really it really is in, insane to watch. Like no one was doing this uh, back then. Day one, I guess. Crooked grind, varial heel. Then he does, did it switch. That's in, that's incredible. I can, I can watch it again. Like I I actually kind of want to, but I'm not going to. So that's the part that like changed skateboarding for me. I was already into it when that came out, but as like as soon as that game came out and I watched the Rodney Mullen footage in it, I immediately started doing like rail stand stuff. And pretty much all I learned when I was a kid was like rail stand, varial flip, just to land on the board, like not back into rail. And then a couple years later, I learned how to like reduce the pressure a little bit and uh, and and learned how to land it on, on the rail. But it takes so much practice. And that was just like one part of a trick in one of those tricks. Did that make sense? That was insane. Uh, yeah. He, Rodney Mullen will forever be one of my favorite skaters of all time. I could go on and on about it, but yeah, still awesome to watch. But I hope you guys wa uh, watched this video. That's what I was about to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you want to see more reaction videos because I like doing them. I like, I like kind of going back in time and looking at stuff I like, you know? If you guys like this though, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell to never miss an upload. Uh, I make videos three times a week on this channel and five times a week on my gaming channel. If you guys want to check it out, you can click the card right there. That's it. I was fiddling with this lens cap the entire time and now I don't know what to do with it. Uh, that's what I did with it. Not gonna lie, I was trying to hit myself. I was trying to go like this. That hurt.